Hey all, <clears throat> sorry Kyle, sorry Kyle. <clears throat> I didn't even have nothing to eat. Terrible. Are you sick? No. Keep that in. Don't do Weave it. it in the intro. Don't do it. Don't do it. Hey all, welcome back to SLB Drinks. This has been a video I'm sure Trenton has been waiting for all this year. Yeah. Because you have said it, I've, you have mentioned this to me personally and to our good family out there in the YouTube land quite a few times. Old granddad, 16 year. Well, and I know when I said, I know you're not a big Jim Beam guy, but when I mentioned it, you kind of perked up a little bit. So oh, that, psh, I was anything, I was happy yeah. to see that. I know yeah. you're a big fan of Old Granddad 114. There you go. And the bottle and bond. And the, it, Old Granddad is a fantastic brand from Jim Beam, in my opinion. I agree. If you can find any dusty Old Granddad 114 from National Distillers, this is before Jim Beam owned it. Get out of town. The one, I will never forget this as long as I live. When we were at Justin's House of Bourbon, Trenton kept oogling and ogling the list up there, and there was a, what, a 1980? Uh, the, are you talking about the 114? Mm -hmm. It was like lot two or three, so it was like 1982 or 83. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And I said, well, and, and it wasn't cheap. Okay, it wasn't cheap. But I said, let's get one ounce, and we'll... And like 60 bucks for an ounce. Yeah, it was something like yeah. that. But it wasn't cheap, but I said, well, we'll share it, and we'll have a little taste of it. Phenomenal. Without a doubt, one Phenomenal. of the best pours I've ever had in my life. I have to agree. And it wasn't even wild turkey. It's a, it, it was, was Jim Beam? It was, well, no, it, it was, wasn't Jim Beam. It was National Distinct. It was unbelievable. Yeah. It was so good. I'm, so, glad, I'm glad we did it. Yeah. It wasn't cheap, yeah. but I'm glad we did it. It was fantastic. So I know this isn't going to emulate the same uh, or invoke the same feelings or the mm, same profiles sure. as the dusty ones. That's just not a thing anymore, unfortunately. But... I really am excited for this one. This is a 16 year old granddad. This is 100 proof, 199. So not not by any means a cheap release. This is about the same price as the Infinite Blend or whatever that came out from Jim Beam. A couple okay. we did a review on this a couple right. weeks ago. Yeah, that 16 wasn't year 100 proof. But, yeah. I would have been a, a lot a lot bigger fan of the price point if it was cast strength or something. But I'm hoping that they were just like, hey, this tastes better at 100 proof. But don't okay, get me I'm, wrong. And you're just, you're just bringing it down tonight, so I don't really yeah. know anything about it. So this is 100 proof? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. Okay. High right mash. But I, I kind of like, I love the fact that they kept the standard bottle yep. for the old granddad, 114. I really kind of, I, it's kind of, orange is a little bit out there on the labeling, yeah. but I like it. I like the labeling. I like the, I like it. I it's like, it looks great. It's like a play on like new modern, I guess, or like, I guess. like vintage whatever. modern or whatever. Yeah, but, but I like it. Yeah, one ninety nine. So though. Two hundred bucks, cheap. so a hundred proof. Sixteen year, same mash bill as old granddad one fourteen. I believe so. It says it would have to be. It says high not, rye mash bill. Yeah, I, I would assume it is, or else it'd be silly yeah. to even put that on there. It would have been granddad. really cool if they made this one fourteen proof. That <laughs> how? Yeah, yeah, but I know I know a lot of this. I know this this price is going to be out there for a lot of folks. Sure. A lot of releases that are coming out now are between two and three hundred bucks, which is unfortunate. Um, so we're here to try it for you and let you know if it's any good. Yeah, yeah. Well, and as much as I love Jim Beam, I'm all about tough love. So I don't care if it's I don't care if it's yeah. whatever it's like. I'm gonna tell you how it is. I hope it's good for yeah. you. I have to admit though, the first few whiffs of the aromas is somewhat similar as I would get out of the regular release of the 114. Maybe a bit more mature and richer to a certain extent, but I get the orangey note. Yep. And I hate to even say that because Tretton is not a fan of orange in I'm general. Not, I'm not a fan you of You don't like orange, period. Mm -hmm. You don't eat orange. I will slam some orange slices, but I don't like <clears throat> orange flavored anything. I, nothing nothing comes close of like an orange flavoring yeah. that that is like an actual orange. Me on the other hand, I do like orange. I like everything though. Orange, grape, watermelon are trash candy flavors. Hot take. You gotta go lemon, blue raspberry, <laughs> raspberry, or strawberry. Okay, I can't stand anything that's blue. What, dude, blue raspberry is the no, best. It's blue, not even a real flavor, but blue it's Blue Gatorade, blue candy, blue anything blows. It's horrible. It's not good. <laughs> that's it's the, that's the good. worst take I've good. ever heard. <laughs> Let us know what you think of that take. It's not good. My, t my take's probably going to anger a lot of people because a lot of people like watermelon and grape and orange. It's terrible. Yeah, you're, you're, you're just being silly now. 
Yeah, it's it's not the most uh, thought provoking nose I've ever had, and it doesn't scream aged bourbon. To no, me. I I do get a little bit of like a maple sweetness. I get it's almost sure. like kind of like a pine nut or like a it's not quite a peanut, but it's nutty in a in a more pine nutty. To me, the best way I can say it is get a little bit of honey in there with some orange. Okay, but it doesn't really it doesn't really. I mean, you you know how it is. Usually when you, <clears throat> pardon me, usually when you pick up a, an, a well-aged bourbon, the aromas kind of are indicative of that. Yeah, I can agree with that. I don't really, I don't get that with this. I don't either. Yeah, we'll see. See what the palate has to say. And this is a fresh crack, so, you know, take, take what we say with a grain of salt. This could open up really nicely in a week or two. I don't know. I love it. <laughs> Seriously? I'm winking at the camera. Uh, um, truthfully, Trenton, I feel bad for you. I'm disappointed. I really do. I feel bad for you. Uh, I, as everybody knows, I'm not a huge Jim Beam fan, but that's okay. I mean, there's some things that come out that I that I enjoy. I like a lot of Knob Creek stuff, to be honest with you. But it, let's get back to the source that we're talking about. That that. If somebody would give that to me blind, I have no idea. That, that could be age four years, as far as I'm concerned. This does not have that age statement feel from a mouth from a mouth no. perspective, from a nose perspective, palate perspective. I guess the same as mouth. Nothing here to me screams like a 16 year old product, which is is really unfortunate. You know, I, I, hmm. it is. There's no depth. Okay, let me rephrase because that's not accurate. There's no deep richness there. It might be a tad bit more viscous than the 114 regular release. Um, it, it might have a bit more honeyed sweetness in there than the regular release. If you, I'm trying to, I'm trying to put this this way, the because a lot of people have tasted the old Grand Ave 114. Oh yeah, right. Okay, let's just say. Let's just say that that is ranked in your books a five, one out of ten. Let's just just saying that. Yeah. Okay. To me, with the with the regular at a five, this would be a six point five. Out of ten. Out of ten. So it's bumped up a touch, but not enough to just say, wow. A little bit better, but not much. But you know what, Trenton? I don't know if you knew this, but right here I have poured the regular 114. So we'll see. But this is one of those pours, and I'm I'm actually gonna be serious right now, which is very rare. This is one of those pours that really kind of makes me question what I know about bourbon or whiskey. Because when I see the price tag on this at 199, when I see the age statement on this, regardless if I think it's good or not, I, I start to question my palate knowing that Jim Beam and like with, with all the resources and stuff they have, the experience that all those people have like culminated together, thousands of years of experience uh, with I'm sure all the staff that went into making this product from a marketing, from a, from a tasting, whatever. It makes me question what I know about it because I, I taste this and I'm like, man, this isn't much better to me than the 114, really. And it's, it's what, eight, to, uh, not quite, like six times more expensive? and you get higher proof at the 114, I would have loved to see this at a 114. I will say, to Jim Beam's credit, I think this year they've really been going outside of the box with their marketing, trying different stuff, which I think is fantastic. Not everything's gonna be a hitter. But at 199, for me, as somebody who really, who tends to enjoy Jim Beam more than maybe you or, or some other folks, um, I'm disappointed. With, with this one. And like I said, it's a fresh crack, so it could be something that opens up in a, in, a, in a little bit. And I hope it does. I really hope it does. But for me, this is not, this is a miss. All right, I'll let you have your, because you, <laughs> I know you're on a roll there, and it, you're the Jim Beam guy, and I'm just going to keep quiet. But when you said, I hope it opens up, it may open up a little bit, but it's still going to be, it's still not going to have the riches. It's not going to have the depth. It's just, it's just a slightly 
amped up original 114 release to me as as most all of the normal tasting notes you'd find in 114 but let's just find out Trent it's right here let's find out <clears throat> The 16 is better. I think I just I just confirmed what I spoke to y'all folks. It's it's a little bit better. But it's the same, it's the same. Yeah. It's the same juice. You have some honeyed sweetness there, you have that orange. The orange note is prevalent for me. It's prevalent in this one. And in the in the regular 114 release, quite a bit. Go, <clears throat> man, I don't know. Going from it's conflicting, the, going the, from the 114, which is a little bit spicier. Going from this one, it seems more velvety, but it's unfair to compare this mm -hmm. after we tried it the first time. Mm -hmm. It is a little bit more velvety. It's a tiny bit more mature. But in the long run, I think Trenton's 100% correct. It's it's pretty disappointing for the price tag, considering the price tag. I think, and to each their own, right? Because sometimes mm -hmm. we'll say things about a special release that comes out that maybe doesn't align with what some other folks think. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Whiskey's very subjective. That's yep. just the nature of, of the hobby, of the craft. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I'm very conflicted with this one. I almost don't even want to release a video. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to, but... You're sweating and I, bullets, aren't you? No, it's just like I and maybe it, maybe this is my fault, right? For hyping this up for, ever since I learned of its release, mm -hmm. I was like, oh man, this is gonna be killer. This is gonna be great. I'm fortunate enough to have a, of a, a vintage 114 mm -hmm. at home. Granted, yeah. it's I think it's a Japanese release. It's the lot 18, so it's it's sort of a replica of 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 past National Distillers. I don't think it's actually National Distillers juice. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I think this is a really good example of like the law of diminishing return, where just because you're paying six more or six to seven X what you would like a, an old granddad bottle and bond or an old grand 114 does not mean that you're gonna get six or seven times the value. And mm -hmm. like I said, that's gonna be the case with a lot of special releases for a lot of people. That's just sure. how the it how happens. the market is at the moment with the pricing and everything. It happens. Um, Whew. Man. <laughs> I'm deflated. At the moment. I'm trying. I'm, I'm. I'm being a little bit more quiet during this video just because this is something Trenton has really been looking forward to. Jim Beam's ranks higher on his list of preferred distilleries than mine. But if you want to ask, and I'm going to say this, I'm going to leave it alone. If you want to ask my personal opinion, yeah, I agree with Trenton 100. This one's a little bit better than the average 114 release, but save your money. It's not that much better. I'm going to just leave it at that. It has a lot of the similar notes as the 114, just a little bit more well-rounded and a little bit more viscous. You can say that. I can say a little bit, tiny bit more velvety. And that's it. So 200 bucks, heck to the no. no. I will tell you that. This is this is one where if if I had to recommend a Jim Beam release from this year, I'd go Little Book 8 at this point. So from the price to the... From price to value mm -hmm. perspective, in my opinion, granted, mm -hmm. it's a rye and it's a blended rye, and there's that's a blue rye, I think, actually, right? Yeah, it was. Um, it sure was, yeah. And not people might not like rye, but this is not one that I would recommend you spend $199 on, which is MSRP. This is not something I would recommend you overspend on. Um, if you can, <laughs> have your buddy buy it and uh, sneak a pour from him every now and then. Yeah, but. I'm, I'm going to be actually looking out for other whiskey tour reviews on this because I, again, like I said, this is making me question myself and what I know because this, this to me is, is just wildly disappointing. Not a knock on Jim Beam. Uh, well, I guess it kind of is, right? Um, but I mean, it is what it is. I'm going to give you my opinion and I'm not going to lie to you. So, all right, well, I'm going to cut it off there because the kid is, 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 He's he's falling down the mountain and he please stop me. He doesn't know how to catch himself. He is having a difficult time, and I get it. I mean, to me, it's just another. Oh well. Anyways, let's just leave it at that because we're just rambling on and on and on, and, and mainly. Anytime you spend two hundred dollars and you think something's worth sixty or seventy or eighty dollars, 
it's a kick in the you know where. TLD it is. There you go. TLDR, in my opinion, pass on this, save 200 bucks. There you go. All right, that's all you have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video to a certain extent. These are not easy for us to do either, but we promise you one thing. We will always be honest. We will. We will always be honest on anything that we're tasting. So, hey, as always. Dude, old overhold 11's coming out this year. What's that? Like the over, old overhold yes. 10 year that they did. Yeah. Was it earlier this year or last year? Okay. They're doing an 11 year. Get out of here. And That's I knew, what I thought and we I, met, but I wanted you to confirm that. And I knew that. And I'm really hoping it's I'm really hoping it's not a similar situation. All right. But sorry. <laughs> quit. If if you if you try this and you think it's good, please let me know in the comments. I will gladly revisit yeah. it in a week or two. Yeah. Maybe we'll do a follow up. Maybe it opens up. Um, I don't think it'll open up to the to the two hundred dollar mark that they're charging. But I've been surprised before, <laughs> so I'm gonna stop now. Please end the video. Please. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen him this worked up, so I actually feel bad. I'm going to give him a hug. As soon as this video is over, I'm going to give him a hug. He'll be all right. I'm going to give him a hug. All right, guys. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. Did we get a bad bottle? <laughs> Stop it. See you next time right down here with Trent and me in the good old basement bourbon bar. <laughs> See you later.